Hi viewers. Viewers, this is my Lenovo IdeaPad 320 laptop. Viewers, if I click on the file explorer, you can see it opens as I click on it. Viewers, when I buy my Lenovo IdeaPad 320, it was brand new. Viewers, when I did the unboxing of it and turned it on for the first time and clicked on the file explorer at that time it took about 5 to 6 seconds to open viewers i was in great shock that this is a brand new laptop why it is so much slow viewers i did research on it and i figured out the problem after which now you can see that if i click on the browser it opens as i click on it if i click on the microsoft edge browser you can see it opens as i click on it you can see this is the microsoft store anything which i want to open it opens as i click on it viewers My Lenovo IdeaPad 320 processor is Intel Core i5 7th generation with a clock speed of 2.50 GHz with the maximum speed of 2.71 GHz. Viewers, its system is 64 bit operating system. Viewers, if you want to also increase the speed of your Lenovo IdeaPad 320 laptop at your home by yourself then what you have to do is watch this video till the end my name is sarjamant noli welcome to get information and knowledge youtube channel let's get started viewers first of all you have to shut down your lenovo idea pad 320 laptop viewers as my Lenovo IdeaPad 320 laptop speed is fast that's why it shut down so fast Your Lenovo IdeaPad 320 laptop will right now take more time to shut down but when you will do the things which I am going to show you in this video your Lenovo IdeaPad 320 laptop speed will also increase viewers i recommend you that you ground yourself and you must have a small star screw driver and place a tissue paper close to your laptop after that what you have to do is remove all the screws from your laptop and place each screw on this tissue paper the advantage of this will be that when you will put them back it will be easy for you to find them viewers when you have removed all the screws what you have to do then that you have to go to the computer shop and buy a kd this is a kd you can see you have to buy a kd you have to also buy ssd i recommend you that you buy SSD of 256 GB minimum 
you have to also buy ram which is 4 gb ddr4 2133 so dim viewers you can take the screenshot of this ram the fourth thing is viewers that if you have a usb at your home if it is bootable with windows 10 or windows 11 it's okay but if you don't have a usb which is bootable then you have to also buy a usb and say the shopkeeper to make it bootable if you already have a usb at your home just take it to the shopkeeper to make it bootable viewers so these are the four things which you have to have with you viewers after that what you have to do is remove the back cover of your laptop it will be harder for you to remove it for the first time but you have to keep on trying removing it remove it carefully after that we will you will see that there will be the hard disk drive you can see this is the hard disk drive and here will be a dvd drive you can see this is the dvd drive what you have to do is remove the dvd drive After that what you have to do is take the KD and put the SSD inside here you can see this must touch here viewers i have put it the ssd in kd now i will push it forward now it has been attached after that viewers you can see here are the places to put four screws i will put the two screws so that the ssd will be not moving from its place viewers the ssd has been now fitted inside the kd i have just put it two screws you can put the four you can see it doesn't fall down what you have to do then is take the kd and make sure it's this side connector adapter touching the laptop this side you can see is touching so you have to put the kd in this position and then you have to push it forward so that this black goes inside the kd
after that what you have to do is remove this bezel from the DVD drive this black piece of your DVD drive in your case it might be some other color you can see I have removed it what you have to do is place it here with the KD you will see the holes to fit it in viewers you can see that I have fitted bezel with the KD After that viewers what you have to do is take the RAM and you have to place it here. I have fitted it in. Now the RAM has been also added. This is 4 GB DDR4 RAM. After that viewers you have to put the back cover and put back all the screws in the places in which they were before make sure that you also tighten a screw here viewers after putting back all the screws what you have to do is Put the bootable USB here. You see, now the Windows 10 bootable USB has been put it here. Now I will turn my laptop on. Viewers, after turning on the laptop, what you have to do is press down the F12 key continuously. You can see that this is the F12 key. You have to constantly press this key. After that, what you have to do is install the windows in SSD after which you will see that your Lenovo IdeaPad 320 speed will be like my laptop Lenovo IdeaPad 320 viewers like this you can increase the speed of your Lenovo IdeaPad 320 by yourself at your home. Viewers hope so you liked my this video. If you are new on my YouTube channel get information and knowledge then don't forget to subscribe and click or tap on the notification bell on all to get the notification of my latest uploaded information and knowledge videos.